नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू स्थित प्रज्ञा चैनल एंड यू आर वाचिंग एडब्ल्यूएस रियल टाइम क्लाउड प्रोजेक्ट्स फॉर बिगिनर्स टू एक्सपर्ट लेवल एंड वी आर इन सीजन फाइव व्हिच इज द सिक्योरिटी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर वी हैव डन 16 प्रोजेक्ट्स इन सीजन फाइव एज अ सिक्योरिटी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डू आवर लास्ट प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस सीजन नॉट इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट जस्ट इन दिस सीजन and uh, this is what project number 64 so if you haven't checked out the remaining projects go ahead check it out i mean only check it out uh, or watch the videos or follow my instructions if you want to get three to four years of real-time aws experience if you don't want then up to you but if you want that experience that kind of experience then go ahead and uh, watch it and follow my instructions whatever i tell you if i tell you to watch some video watch it if i tell you to read something go read it okay you have to follow what i tell you then trust me you are going to get that three to four years of aws experience real time experience okay that being said let's do our 64th project and uh, the name of this project is application logs a web, a web gaming company had a security breach incident and lost significant time trying to find server access logs. The new complaints officer wants to find a way to analyze server logs efficiently. We have done something similar to this several times, but all, all these projects are different in their own way. And these are all real-time projects where AWS implemented for different clients. So hello 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 thanks for stopping by i am new complaints officer at a web gaming company and we recently had a security breach on our application server i was hoping you could help me find a more efficient way to access our server blogs hello i am happy to help can you tell me more during the incident we lost a significant time trying to find the access logs on the application server we want to find a better way to quickly analyze server logs. Do you know of such a solution? Absolutely. You can install the Amazon Kinesis agent on the application server and configure it to send access log data to Kinesis data firehose delivery stream, which can be configured to send the access log data to S3 bucket. I see. What is the benefit of having our log data in S3 bucket? With the logs in S3, you can use AWS Glue, a serverless data integration service, to discover properties of the data and prepare it for analytics. Interesting. How does AWS Glue work? AWS Glue provides all the capabilities needed for data integration. So you can start analyzing your data and putting it to use in minutes instead of months. You can quickly find and access data using the Glue data catalog which is a central repository to store structural and operational metadata for all your data assets. You can configure an AWS Glue crawler to automatically scan Amazon S3, identify data formats and suggest schemas and transformations and then populate the data catalog with this metadata. That sounds great. How will I be able to access the data catalog? That's where Amazon Athena comes in. Athena is an interactive query service that you can use to analyze data in S3 using standard SQL. Athena works with the data catalog to read the schema information and apply it to the log data in S3. You can use Athena to help analyze the access log data stored in S3 by running interactive analytics using SQL queries without the need to aggregate or load the data into Athena. Fantastic. This solution will definitely help us proactively investigate security incidents in the future. Can you show me the steps involved in building this solution? Well, I can do the solution for you. So let's accept it. Thank you. Let's get started. And when I am reading something, if you sometimes, you know, when somebody is reading, we, we tend to read as well and it's a disturbance. So if you don't like me reading, you can mute me and then you can read on your own and then once the reading is over you can unmute um that's that's up to you but i'm just recommending you that okay that being said uh i think you we might have got a an overview of what the project is going to be okay by the time we finish doing this project what are we what are the things that we are going to learn we are going to configure how we are going to learn how to configure kinesis agent on ec2 instance 
will create an AWS glue crawler to generate a data schema which something we already did with one of the project then we will use Athena to query and analyze the log data which is something we already did so what are we going to learn something new configuring the Kinesis agent on EC2 instance in the previous project what did we configure we configured CloudWatch uh, not just configure we installed CloudWatch agent and we configured it as well uh, and you already I, if you watch the previous one you remember that uh, in the project they showed us how to install it using the fleet manager but they didn't create a compute uh, com node for us so we couldn't do it so instead of you know aborting that project what i did was i directly installed the cloudwatch agent from the ec2's command prompt command command line anyways so let's go to the video concepts and again again and again i recommend you to watch these videos if you haven't because some of the most of these videos are already repeating from project to project so if you haven't watched this video i mean it doesn't hurt even if you watch multiple times but if you haven't watched even if you watch it i highly recommend you to watch it again uh, and these videos are very fun way that they, they created them in such a way that they will explain everything pictorial like they will show you uh, with pictures for example like this you know they will put pictures and then text under it even if you don't understand what they are trying to say this will you know this will be stamped in your head so for that reason I recommend you to go watch all of this so that why this because these services are going to be used in this project so if you don't know what a certain service does then you won't understand it and this is the chance for you to learn more about that service I'm not going to play all the videos here don't worry about it but there will be a playlist that will pop up right here if it if it already didn't click on that playlist and it will take you to AWS um, tutorials for beginner playlist on our channel then search with this title in that playlist then you will get the video watch it once you watch all of them come back and uh, watch the rest of the project let's go back okay let's look at the steps there are not much steps um, the first step is about the solution. This uses Amazon Kinesis Data Firehost stream log files to S3. You can see that here. Bucket AWS glue to crawl the log data to create a schema. You know where you will have the table name and etc. And then you will use Athena to query the data based on the glue schema. So this will create the schema literally it is going to create a table with the schema and then athena it will put this file and the table together and then it will query the data from s3 install and configure the amazon kinesis agent on ec2 instance that is what we are going to do again remember this is not about glue or querying from athena etc this is about security incident breach incident right so in order to replicate that and fix it are remediated we are doing all this and once that is installed it is configured to push access logs from application server to kinesis data firehouse delivery so yesterday we used cloudwatch agent to push the logs from ec2 to cloudwatch and today we are going to install kinesis agent to push logs from ec2 to kinesis data firehouse firehouse delivery stream uses s3 as its destination source and firehouse it can uh, deliver data to multiple targets some of them are s3 and open search and i think redshift the access logs are saved in logs folder within s3 bucket and a glue crawler is created to scan the logs folder in s3 and create metadata including a schema for the access log data we have done bunch of uh, projects using uh, glue crawler as part of season 3 data analytics and Amazon Athena is used to query the access log data in S3 by using the schema created by AWS Glue. Then we are going to review the query results in Athena, query editor, console or within the query results destination folder in S3. So whenever you run a query, the results are actually stored to in S3 that we have to point. If you followed or watched those projects where we used Athena, you, you already know that. Okay, let's click on the plan. So as part of practice lab, we are going to review logs generator from EC2 instance, then we'll configure to use Kinesis agent to send logs to Kinesis data firehouse. Then uh, we are going to review the logs pushed to S3 bucket. And then we are 
we will go we will use glue to crawl the logs from s3 and generate a schema of the data then athena to query and analyze so as part of diy we are going to use glue to create a new crawler to crawl the athena query results right we are there are two crawlers one crawls the source the logs another crawls the results that athena generated so that it can create another table structure then we will run the crawler to create a new aws glue data catalog table all right so let's jump into the practice okay let's start the lab let's not delay it uh, let's see do we have a file yes do we have a file to configure the kinesis agent and as always i'm not going to read the concept but i highly recommend you to read the concept so the concept will be whatever service we are going to uh, they are going to show us in this particular step right each step might most of the steps will have concept sometimes it won't but i recommend you to do that i'm not going to read it but pause the video read it and then resume the video we already downloaded that file and let's go to ec2 first and on ec2 uh, we are going to click on the instances to see the running instance we are going to connect it to that uh, here we are going to connect using session manager we have so far we have connected using instance connect uh, in the previous project we use session manager to connect to it so click on session manager and then click connect then it will connect remember this in the from the previous uh, project okay i'm just making notes on these ones so when i actually do it i won't forget it so what are we doing we are just installing a kinesis agent using the m on this particular machine so once we install it there are going to be a question which is is this okay then obviously we are going to say yes and pretty much that's about it and then we are going to configure it I am assuming yes but let's see how are we going to configure this okay so we are going to configure it if you remember uh, yesterday's video i had to configure cloudwatch agent multiple times so luckily they already provided looks like all the commands in that file that i downloaded and all we have to do is execute this command sudo sh minus c cat okay and then paste to this one agent.json is that what we downloaded no but i don't know what that is but let's paste that what is this going to do let's see on your device open the file that you downloaded at the okay let me open that file i don't know what are the contents of it looks like uh, the contents are whatever they are showing here so let me open it okay i'm opening it in my another screen so but i will show you don't worry about it okay so if you see here these are the commands that actually they are running so let me oh okay so basically what are they doing they are sudo using the sudo user they are running this sh shell script minus c I don't know what that is but i'm assuming then their cat end of file that uh, i don't know what this command is but i'm assuming they are putting this into that file and running it i guess let let's see if they are explaining i don't know why i am struggling here open that file you downloaded at the beginning of the lab and then in the terminal copy paste the contents of the file and presenter the configuration file contains the path of the access log that will contain log entries for each access attempt to, to the application website as well as the name of the firehose delivery stream that was created by the lab so this has that many details oh yeah this is a delivery stream and this is the file pattern access log okay i think they are putting these details inside this file and executing it i guess at the same time hmm. okay so we have that mm, let me take this to the other side okay so once we do that we are starting the kinesis agent using this command usually you can use the service command to start any service that you install 
assuming you set set the services and then you can enter the status to get the status which you can do uh, see here all right and then we are going to use tail tail means it will just show you the last n lines when a particular file is getting uh, appended data to it so we are just checking the log so when you do that as the log is being returned to that file it will show us one line at a time or how, however fast it is showing okay i think that's about it and then we are going what is this okay so looks like it is a gaming app right so the ec2 instance uh we need to copy i think i didn't that they opened it and it looks like this is how it looks like what is this radius red mm. okay so but since we opened it it is generating logs and the tail function is showing us all the logs it is telling somebody tried get on that etc and then we are going to s3 now and uh, click on the log bucket refresh it why because i think looks like everything is set up the logs that are being generated by accessing that website are being sent to the kinesis that is running on the ec2 and once it sends that what was the target to the kinesis s3 so it has to come here and uh, put that file here which you can see logs and then you can see the delivery stream so we can download it that's what looks like we are doing and then we are going to go to glue uh, aws glue uh, to create the uh, glue crawler so we go to crawlers and then we create crawler and let's name this log crawler and uh, is your data already mapped to glue tables not yet and we are going to add data source which is the s3 bucket in this account which is s3 in this account browse to that bucket choose crawl all subfolders add s3 data source next and then we have to select a role which they already created it for us which is convenient and then we have to select a database where we want to create that schema so we are going to create a database which is called logs database and then okay the database is created select that database click next that's it create crawler crawler is created as you can see choose run ready it will take it, it won't take much time okay once it is run you can go to the tables and you will see the table gets created there which is the log bucket we didn't give a name so it created its own name and you can see the schema it created the crawler crawled the log files and decided that it has this many columns and the data type is string uh, by default it puts string to pretty much all of them and then now let's go to athena to query the data using sql we will launch query editor we are going to use trino sql and first of all even if you don't configure this it will use a bucket behind the scenes but usually we will go to the settings and tell it in which bucket we want the results to be stored so that's what we are doing manage browse then we are going to select log bucket but a different folder athena output then save it i think then let's go to editor preview table you have this right so select the database then it will show up then click these three dots then preview table and you will it will show the data for you okay simple how where is the data it's in s3 but where is this schema it is in uh, the database that crawler glue crawler created now you can run sql queries full and sql queries like that select count star from the log database uh, 
uh, what is is the is that a column name what is no, table name log database this has to be the table name anyways yeah okay scroll you can see it being delayed I think that's it where, where is the security part I'm just missing that oh they just want to query the logs that's it nah, I don't know how that would be security related but okay I will take it I guess anyways this is very easy this is this is this is something that we already did multiple times but I guess the only thing uh, that they're showing us something that is new is the kinesis agent uh, this we can finish in within no time okay let's go to ec2 okay instances running click on this let's copy the ip address okay networking yeah okay public clicks copy this paste it so that we can open it later on okay now let's go to connect session manager connect okay here we are on the ec2 shell then we are going to install i mean just to show you guys that this is not already installed i am going to run this As you can see, it says it, it's not there, which means it's not installed yet. Okay, let me go and paste this command y using yum to install, and uh, this is the RPM location. And we are going to select yes. Okay, which is done. Let me control L to clear the log. Okay, now if I run that status again, it, will, it should show stopped or something inactive because we didn't start it yet okay but before doing that we need to configure it okay. and i already have that configuration file so i'm going to copy it as is paste it and okay now it's configured now let's go and start the service okay you can type clear or control l both clears it now let's look at the status as you can see it is running successfully all right now let's go and check the log file if the logs are actually being created obviously you won't see anything why because nobody is accessing that website so let's go ahead and access that website right now Okay, as it, it won't generate anything. Nobody's accessing the website. I mean, and other than me, nobody knows that website even exists on this one. So let's click open address. So this should start popping as soon as I mean, once it enters. I don't know if it is on that IP address, but do we need to use any port? Maybe. F I don't think so. I think we are missing 8443 or something. What is the port? Did you guys see? let me go and check that out usually they install that on a port okay they are not showing it so let's go and just paste the ip address Did they say or oh, they are not saying anything? Okay. Sometimes it is HTTP, so let me remove that and run it. Oh yeah, it is HTTP. Oh, it is an actual game. Seriously? I didn't expect this guys. <laughs> I 
Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot. I'm not playing a video game. Anyways, as you can see, the logs started generating. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I don't want to go. If I go, I will play, keep on playing that. Let me close it. Otherwise, I will sit there and keep on playing. Anyways, the point here is it is collecting logs. That is good for us. So now let's go into S3. I didn't expect that seriously. They actually put an actual game. I mean, obviously, makes sense. This is Cloud Quest. So this is the logging bucket. Um, okay. It. I think it will take some time. But in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to go to Kinesis. They didn't show us, but let's just go and see if it got triggered or not because it is some time. It took some time, right? We should be seeing some logs here. Don't know how long it will take. Depends on what they configure. So the delivery stream is here. What, what did they say? Data transfer. Okay, that's fine. Thought active. Mm. It's not showing any data. Maybe it will take some time. let's okay it logs are here and as you know it writes with these are all partitions year month day hour minutes and finally we have it here if i download it and open it it will look something similar to uh, when i was uh, okay um when i was tailing that file Right? It will just show us all the, all this, this, this is how the logs look like. Okay. Anyways, app, okay, never mind. So let me take this back to here. And it is successfully writing. So whatever we installed, it worked. And now since we have the file, let's go to glue. We don't need firearms anymore. We can close that. And on the left side, you will have ETL jobs, which is not something we are going to do. Go to data catalog because that's where the crawlers tables databases are. Let's create a crawler. And we are going to name this crawler log crawler. And let's click next. And it's not there yet. Let's add the data source. It's going to be S3. And it's in this account. Let's browse. And it's the log bucket. Don't go into that. Make sure. Oh, actually, this is what? S3 path, right? Yeah, we need to select the folder as well. So let's select this one. I hope. Yeah, that's it. Crawl all subfolders. Add it. Next. Now we need to select the IAM role, which is already there. So let's select that. We don't have to create a new one. There is no database, so let's add database. Most of the time, you will already have a database if this is not the first time. But okay, uh, let's go to our crawler. What? Here we go. I was like. <laughs> Is it gone? Let's refresh and now it show up and we don't have to type a prefix added to the table but if you want you can add it otherwise it will oh, it will name whatever it wants. I think it will show somewhere here doesn't it? No, it's not showing. Create the crawler and I think if you go to crawler let's refresh it you can see it ready now let's run it. So what it does is it is running right now as you can see here it will refresh i think every 15 seconds automatically or six five seconds sorry glue job refreshes i think every 30 seconds depending on the service they automatically refresh you can on demand refresh it but right now the crawler is running behind the scenes so technically it is trying to get the files from s3 and that trying to figure out what are the columns and etc once this is done, 
it will create table for us in the database that we created so we can go to the databases and you will see the database here and if you click the tables it will be created here once that crawler finishes running since it's still running so let's wait give it some time let me pause and come back all right it is done now let's if we go to tables and refresh i should see the tables table not tables and it named it logs okay it didn't name whatever uh, it named them uh, to them maybe they put a prefix maybe i didn't but that's okay i don't mind whatever the name it gives me okay so now we have a table and we have log files all we have to do is query them and we are going to query them using athena which is s Anal uh, analyzing analysis tool where you can an analyze data which is stored in s3 using sql they already it already selected the database and you can already see the logs and it already created that for you click here preview table it will put all that if you run it will show you the data and you can run your query however you want for example what they are trying to do they are trying to get the count of the ip addresses which is what they are doing okay total you are getting 38 38 times or 38 records you have in there pretty much that's it if i'm not wrong yeah that's all that's all they told us to do in here and uh, if we go to diy they want us to create a new crawler to crawl the athena query results but the thing is we only ran like what the count star and you want to create a uh, on top of that run the crawler to create a new glue data uh, i don't know let's see oh we didn't set the query location just so you know now i got reminded go to settings manage uh, select this now see it created the bucket for me but i want this one and uh, yeah let's go back select this bucket and let me add that here so it will put it in there save it but the thing is okay let's go to editor okay let me remove all this one it doesn't matter it only going to give one record okay it gave me this so now if i go to s3 and right here it will create another folder but what will this have i can save this one um where was it somewhere you will have save, saved queries oh they have this they didn't tell us to run them did they diners club are are this my old queries that i ran long long ago yeah we don't even have this wow i don't know how they know this that's weird do they have a default they don't, they don't. i think they might be old ones okay. but anyways you can save this query by clicking here save as log count save query but the, my question is how what will it have hmm. doesn't matter what it has i guess but let's go to glue crawler what they asked us to do is crawlers create a crawler log result crawler not yet add a data source s3 browse that bucket this folder choose okay, what is the complaint about oh, okay never mind add the data source next same thing next i can choose the same database does it matter next create it crawlers it's running or oh, the previous one never mind click run let it run for some time 
um, but what did they ask us? Okay, it, uh, it it is creating so new AWS glue catalog table AWS glue database name. Okay, I can give you that and the database is going to be that one. I think they will query it I guess and then they will try to verify it and the name what did you create? I think we will know once it finishes. So let me pause. Okay, again, it took about one minute. Maybe doesn't matter I guess but data it has it will take one minute all the time so let me come back to here just refresh this and it will show you another table oh it named it athena output that's fine let's preview table unable to create hive unsupported format this query ran against the unless qualified by the query please post what? why <laughs> view properties okay it is since it has i think maybe two these two files is that what is causing one is metadata another one is csv is that what is causing it but what schema did it create let me check that Okay. okay that was fast for this it is not even showing are you afraid okay let's see if i give this table name here will it pass me because the table exists i think that's all it cares but if it tries to execute the table it will get an error let i don't know let's see oh it passed it but i'm just wondering it's still not giving me it's okay yeah since it has two different i think i don't know i might have i think it might have generated some junk data but i don't care okay crawler we created it good job okay so i think that's about this it has nothing to do with security but mm, i i was a little disappointed with this project but well it is what it is the main takeaway of this is what is it when they have any uh, when they want to check the logs to see if they if somebody is attacking etc this is how they do it right we have the logs the logs are in real time using kinesis firehouse writing to s3 and then they can uh, create tables using glue crawler and then query using athena and you can automate it as well you can automate the queries on athena so that uh, you can do a count for example however we did and maybe if the count is more than something then we can send an email and remediation something similar to what we did yesterday all right let's give the news this should help up uh, you eff uh, efficiently analyze your logs going forward so their requirement is to analyze logs and that's what we gave even the title says application logs this works amazingly well thank you for your help choose a reward i mean this is the final one at least you should have given something nice all right doesn't matter i guess so let me know what you think about this project in the comments and don't forget to like subscribe enable the bell icon so that youtube knows whenever someone searches for aws projects to suggest our video i mean these are a awesome videos don't you agree so obviously we want everybody to watch them so that is in your hands so when you like comment enable bell icon subscribe youtube knows that this is amazing content and it will try to push it to everyone if you don't comment they'll be like ah maybe this is a boring nobody is interacting so it is in your hands so it's it's, it's uh in your hands so go do that obviously five star okay so we will get this window because this is the last project in this season and uh, at the end of this project uh, we have uh, received or did 53 challenges so far 72 cards etc xyz but the nice thing is we are going to get the 
batch so i am going to claim it this will take me to my credly so i will be back okay so i claimed my batch and uh, thank you guys for all your support but we are not done yet we have to zap zap the zap so since this is the last one i will do i don't see any blue ones what's going on are they afraid of me like he's done so he's going to assimilate us yes okay i cannot go this direction or what oh that's too far i think i cannot do it here maybe i think i need to go maybe this direction okay so let's finish this let's finish zapping these drones and uh, doing the quiz and then i will talk about the next season which mandatory configuration settings does the kinesis agent support when writing to kinesis data firehose obviously you need delivery stream and then the file pattern right i think that's what the, those two that's those are the two that we actually mentioned in that uh, file that they provided that i copied what i just came from there which aws service does athena integrate with to create a unified metadata obviously glue the Which AWS Glue component connects to a data store? Progresses through a prioritized list of classifiers to extract the schema of the data and other statistics and then populates the Glue data catalog with this metadata. Crawler. I mean, so far, how many? 303 love so far. Athena is an interactive query service that is used to analyze data by using standard SQL. Which storage service does Athena work with? S3 for love. Oh, I'm rocking today. Oh, no. Did I miss that? Which actions does AWS Glue crawler take when it inter interrogates a data store? It interrogates a data store? Seriously? It writes metadata to Glue data catalog. It groups data into tables or partitions. It classifies the data to determine the format. Yeah. I, I assume so. Maybe I will be wrong. But no. Six love. Yay, yay, yay. Which resource is a container used to pass an IAM role to an EC2 instance? It's called instance profile. Did I get stuck? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh yes, <clears throat> I think since there is a another uh, robot right there, I think it's bug. No, 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 no. Come on, this is my last exam. Don't do this to me. Can you guys see? I can. Oh, I can now. I think it got up and went left. <laughs> so that's why I don't ever shoot two of them at the same time. Anyways, I think we are done with our. Uh, questions as well because it asked us about IAM role but I hope you enjoyed this particular um, season oh it's not letting me okay now I think we are back or no seriously let me exit oh I think it's it's still buggy it's not letting me select 
can i say no no oh, maybe not okay let me refresh but what i'm trying to say is um i think this is a this is all for the security i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you do you know what to do go ahead do all that amazing stuff you do to support the channel and i really appreciate your time uh, and again as i mentioned previously there are not many users who watches this playlist but i wish they do because this is like giving you real time experience with aws you can actually after you watch all the projects literally you can um, go market yourself like having 3 to 4 years of real time experience it's similar to getting real time experience all it matters is that do you know how to do a particular thing obviously after watching this you know how to do a particular thing so that's why you know let's make this famous so that many people can find this playlist and watch this and get real time experience um, because not all can get real time experience immediately and the companies tend to go for that for some reason anyways that being said so let me go and uh, show you what we did so far overall and uh, what we are going to do in the next season so let i think i will be back okay we are back here what i wanted to show is this one so if i go to click on roles it will show so far whatever the different roles we did as again each season means it's a particular role that we did different project in initially we did it in cloud practitioner then we did solutions architect then we did data analytics then serverless developer and now we did it in security so next thing i'm going to do is networking i think it's it has 15 projects seriously oh, i didn't know that uh, and then this one has looks like about 12 project uh, no, sorry 14 projects so that will take us to 20 14 and 12 26 and we finished 64 26 what 90 projects wow anyways so we are going to do all those projects networking next thing is networking and um, i hope you enjoyed security and see you in the networking once again thanks for spending your time here do support the channel by doing all those things that i just mentioned you and uh, see you in the next season i hope you will use whatever knowledge you are gaining from here in real time i really really wish you to do that and i wish you all the best have a great day see you in the next one peace out